date is 7 July 5th, um, 2012. This video will be a little upsetting to some and then to others, maybe not. I have a problem. Okay, let's see. I got my PJs on and I want you guys to see all of me currently because I do not have one of our stuff. Okay. Um, first thing is this. I made notes. So this video may offend some, and then some probably like, yeah, girl. But anyway, um, on my page, on my fan page this week, um, I had went to the store and I had did the Nivea deal, the little Nivea 10. And while there, I, I have six cards. I have six CVS cards. Um, from all my family members. So while there, I scanned all the cards. So I got six um, three quarter eight coupons that came out that printed out. Not sure if they're still printing. Um, this was a few days ago. But nevertheless, I found myself trying to, you know, tell everybody about the deal and also that the quarter eight coupon was printing. So I took pictures and I posted them up on my fan page. Alright, well, you know, it's always one in the group. And it's always one in the group. She was like, so what's the difference between you committing fraud and somebody else committing fraud? And um, so me, if you guys know me, I am a bit... Um, I'm not good at holding my tongue. I'm not good at editing myself. Therefore, I went into it. Now, here, let me break something down for you. Um, you know when you go to CVS and you know you have your cards and you go scan your card. Okay. Um, you may have more than one. It could be from different family members or whatever the case is. But you have more than one card, right? All right. So. What's the difference between CVS, you have a more than one car, and Walgreens when Register Rewards is attached to the deal and you have to break up the transactions in order for you to get, um, say like if it's Kotex or something like that, you get $3 worth of Kotex, you get $3 in Register Rewards for every one. Now you know it's limit one per customer, right? And so the way you get around the rewards is to break up the transactions. So you walk out the store with $30 in register rewards because you broke up the transaction. Now, educate me if I'm wrong or not. But isn't that um, also what you, uh, what you would consider coupon fraud? Because they would consider you, because um, it says one per customer, am I right? So, all I got to say about that is don't throw rocks at um, glass houses. Don't go, don't throw stones at grass, glass houses. So, mm. moving forward, I just so sick and tired of self righteous ass people. <sighs> Alright, now, something else. Now, this one is going to cause some, some people to be pissed off, but y'all know me and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, now, I know this group. It's a um, movie group. It says beginners, movies. Therefore, they need um, more attention than others. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. So, if you're in a newbie group for beginners, that means they're fucking beginners. Meaning that they need um, nurturing. Okay. I know this one blogger that was attached to a... Uh, a newbie group and she had a problem with one of the deals that was going on now me I I, I go on the deal I go on the, the um, group every blue moon just to peek around see what's up and so I went in this group and I saw this argument going on I'm like what the hell is popping off damn <laughs> so I started reading it it was about I'm just gonna put it like this because uh, I'm not gonna tell y'all the deal because I don't want nobody going out and do the deal and I must cons I must say that I do not whatsoever con condone um, coupon fraud. But I will say this: if you're a newbie, mistakes happen. With that being said, let's move forward. So um, this 
blogger um, felt the need to correct him. And I also don't have a problem with a person being corrected because if you're wrong, you're wrong. Call it like it is. But there's a way to talk to anybody. So if you make a mistake, you can be like, well, X, Y, and Z, this is the proper way to do X, Y, and Z. But this person was just all self-righteous and felt the need to act as though this was a child and she was talking down to her. <sighs> Look, my thing is this. People need to either learn how to talk to people. Because when I was a, when I was a newbie, I've been couponing for three years now. When I was a newbie, I made mistakes. But I didn't have nobody there to correct me. I just learned by trial and error. And thank God for the um, for one of my castmates helping me along the way. Because um, if not, I would have to deal with assholes like this person. But anyway, um, yeah. So my thing is like this. If you see a newbie and they make a mistake, either pull them to the side and say something. Or inbox them. There's proper ways to say anything to anybody. Um, or you know, you can you can make a post in the private group saying you should have th this coupon should be used like this. You know, my thing is like this. Everybody makes mistakes, and I get so sick and tired of self righteous people that says that you know they act like they shit don't stink. Well, mm, moving forward. So, the word of the week, couponers, is to mind your own motherfucking business and let's save some money. How about that? Yay!